What's up, guys? With another Final Fantasy topic of discussion. Hold up. I'll take my shoes to get comfortable for this one. Okay, I just went on Facebook, and good news for Final Fantasy fans. Or, should I say, good news for progressive Final Fantasy fans who, you know, who are the uber progressive. Female characters are going to be playable. Yeah, well, that's, gonna be, well, that's pretty cool anyways, because... You know, I was kind of hoping for... I know this game's going to be focused on Noctis. That's why they kind of changed some of the trailers and everything. Mm. I love Rockstar Energy. Mm. It's kind of hypocritical being me being a health nut and drinking this. But once in a while, it's not bad. A little product pace placement. Anyways, yes, Final Fantasy XV is confirmed to have female characters. Now, this might be in-game, or this might be side quests, just like when you're able to play Sorceress Edia in Final Fantasy VIII, where in, in the East Star City arc. Now, it could be an arc. I think it's personally going to be a DLC. Am I going to get this DLC? Yes. I'm going to play this game at its fullest. I'm going to get the season pass to Final Fantasy XV. But it's awesome that we got... We got female characters! Yeah, boy! Even if they're DLC, I don't think it's going to cost that much to play as them as DLC. I mean, unless they do like an event individually and then they, then they add all the costs to them. Like, you'd be paying at least $5 out of your pocket. If you have a PayPal and you want to put your card on here, PSN will let you put your PayPal account there. So, they can't take money unless you, unless you approve a I was like, I love PayPal, by the way. That's another thing you guys should do. I'm also sponsored by PayPal. I urge my fans and my subscribers to get a PayPal. You can do eBay with it. That's how, that's how I also get cheap prices. Because every time I buy using PayPal, it gets you cheaper prices and more rewards. And people could donate money for if you were selling products of your own. But that's, that's not the point. The point is... Um, the point I'm trying to make at right here is that they might make it five dollars for the set of the, all the female characters. All the female characters you see confirmed in the game, of course. We're talking about Luna. We're talking about the black hair woman. I don't know who her name is. We're talking about. I'm trying to think that one anti-hero girl that looks like lightning. I forget her name. Oh, uh, it, so, there's so much. They're also going to throw more DLC, which that's good. I would also recommend um, going ahead and putting your pre-orders in for Final Fantasy XV if you haven't. Since now they got an online multiplayer. I um, put my Taco Jack's gamer tag in the video, which is in the beginning anyways. Uh, I'm only allowed to add more, like four more people, so... They had to close that service off because, well... Due to drama that's been going on for a little while, I had to be doing that. I'm not going to say what the drama's about, but... Yes, I'm going to limit to four friend requests for, for Final Fantasy XV if you want to play me on the online one. But it's awesome, it's good. And, it's you know, this is actually really good publicity for Final Fantasy because everyone's going to the progressive. Like, the progressiveness it controls everything. So, it's good that they're being progressive. Well... And it's not like Final Fantasy games never had female characters in it. You got to play Lightning in Final Fantasy XIII in all three games. <clears throat> Even though you could switch up your party in thirteen one during segments of the game, you still played as Lightning and it was her story through you know thick and thin. And then if you, people who don't like Final Fantasy XIII and say it's a bad game, you know, there was Final Fantasy VI. Yes, everyone was a main character in Final Fantasy VI. But she, you know, it focused on Terra because Kefka was obsessed with Terra. So it put, pushed the plot forward. But it's like, the point is, I'm trying to say, it's good that they're going to progressive front. I really agree with this for sure. And, you know, I think, you know, I just hope that they don't. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like SJW, but I really do hope they don't just keep them as healing roles. That they would actually expand roles, you know, like, I don't know, a female mage, a female warrior. Even though there's really no use for no more warriors because Noctis and Gladio are the are pretty much the warrior types. You know, we could use a mage, we can use a black mage, we can use a red, you know. We could use other job roles 
that are probably exclusively to Final Fantasy 15. But I'm I'm happy anyways. And yes, I'm gonna yeah, yeah I'm gonna hell yeah I'm gonna buy the DLC because I'm gonna I'm probably gonna get the season pass. I want to play this game full. Like like I'm putting a lot of money down right now to make sure this game it gets more fun and enjoyable. I just you know. Mm. That's what I want—a game that's fun and enjoyable. So, you know, I'm really hoping that this stuff does come true. This is pretty, you know, this is pretty big. But it's—it's it's not like they haven't done it before. But you know, it's—I it, it, mean, it's good that you're going progressive. I really agree with that. And now, also, I like this because then it proves. Uh, I forget that one website was called. Let's see, Mary Sue. It proves that Mary Sue website very wrong you know that you know that it, the final fantasy games are male dominated because you know that's cut you know yeah yes most m main characters have been male in final fantasy games but it's like they have like we have lightning's return we have lightning final fantasy 13 saga terror from final fantasy 6 you know we got you, and then you got the one where it's all girls which is Yuna, Riku, and um, Pain, which was pretty a good game. It wasn't the best Final Fantasy X game, but it was pretty good. It was pretty decent. You know, it was decently played. So I'm happy for that. And, you know, I'm very happy with what's going on. And, yes, I'm going to get the DLC for sure. I don't know what my team's going to be like. First I got first of all, i got to play the story to Final Fantasy XV to, to actually display my team. But after I finish the whole game... I'm a, then I'll probably have a good team. I'll level up select characters and have only the four. If, if, if they still have the four. It seems in the new trailers that Noctis will be the only playable character. But if they do have the whole party, like the demo that you see right here, the very first demo, then I'll just, I'll probably show you what I got and what, you know, and, and what I can do, you know, with, with the party, you know. I know one thing. I'd like to have the black-haired woman in my party. She 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 seems like she'd be one of the strongest female characters in the game. Cause we don't know very much about her. She's very mysterious. I mean, I really don't know the name, but some other Final Fantasy fans know the name of that character. Which, if you could, just comment below so I can get it right. I don't want to keep getting shit wrong. I it gets tiring to have, to, to have shit that you know, it's wrong. But um. I like the, I like I like this change, but yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have her, probably Gladio, and then you know whoever else. But nonetheless, I'm happy for that this is happening, that it's going to a progressive direction, and you know what, it's awesome. For Final Fantasy 15 is probably gonna be, you know, going to the video VGA awards. Like I could see that happen. They're putting a lot of stuff in this now. I gotta go. I'm running out of time. May the crystal be with you. Download the season pass and DLCs. Do it.